Today we're standing in front of the Vaughn Mantelpiece in the new room and we're going to talk a bit about its history and the history of the coal grate and sad of it as well as the current conservation program we have undertaken on these two objects. When George Washington returned from the American Revolution, he immediately turned his attention to completing what he would call the new room on the north end of the house. At that point, Washington had not decided upon, upon a dec decorative program for the room, but he um, had some ideas in mind. He had met a gentleman on the way back in Philadelphia named Samuel Vaughn. Samuel Vaughn was a wealthy British merchant fresh from England who had come over and was visiting sites associated with George Washington and the American Revolution. When Washington met him in Philadelphia, they apparently had some wonderful discussions about what the current decorative themes were in the great British homes. And uh, Vaughn, meant, Vaughn uh, advised Washington on what he could do in the new room. Now at that point Washington hadn't picked a mantle but he knew he wanted a marble mantle. So when Washington returned home and he wrote to his nephew Bushrod Washington who remained in Philadelphia and asked him to go about seeking an appropriate mantelpiece for the new room. At that point uh, Washington was Washington, almost immediately thereafter, Washington received a l letter from Samuel Vaughn saying that Vaughn was going to deinstall a mantle from his own home in Winestead outside of England and wanted to send it to the general for use in the new room. Now, that uh, mantelpiece arrived in February of 1784 here in the new room and it was um, likely installed sometime thereafter. And here is the mantelpiece that you see. It arrived in tin crates initially and you can see how magnificent it actually is and what the decorative program of the piece itself. What's really wonderful about this piece is the central plaque that you see as well as the two side plaques that uh, evoke scenes of farming and bucolic events and country life. Now, George Washington was recognized as something of an American Cincinnatus. Cincinnatus was an ancient Roman general who had fought um, to preserve his land and his people and had gone back to the farm and to the plow. Um, so Washington, when in a classically infused era uh, of the 18th century, Washington was almost immediately recognized as a Cincinnatus figure. So Vaughn sent him this mantelpiece and that was before the decorative program for the uh, pl composition and plaster ornament in the room had been determined. Washington, uh, Washington received the mantelpiece and then soon thereafter he hired a man named John Rawlins to do the plaster work in the room. And looking at what's going on in the mantelpiece, the farming scenes, you can see what Washington was picking and Rawlins were picking up on when they moved to the ceiling in the room. So this is a magnificent mantelpiece. It was initially designed in the 1770s by a man named Sir Henry Cheer. The original drawings for it actually survive in the Victorian Albert Museum in London and um, there are other, several other mantelpieces that use elements of the same piece in British country houses there. Now, when Washington purchased, got, received this mantelpiece, it was, um, he installed it as a wood-burning fireplace inside. When Washington left the presidency in 1797, he brought back with him this wonderful coal grate that you see inside. And to talk a little bit about the way the coal grate worked, it has a uh, cast iron back and a grate on the bottom, the grate would have held the coal and the cast iron would have, would have pushed the heat out into the room, making it far more efficient than wood burning stoves. Now this was also, uh, at the time, steel wa was a new invention in uh, highly produced, uh, well produced steel was new in Great Britain and cast steel was used on the outside. The cast steel would have been highly polished and reflected, uh, had a highly reflective surface, um, very similar to the highly reflective seal that we see today. Um, that would have been around the outside and it would have reflected the light from the interior of the fireplace as well as from the windows in the room. 
Over the years, the cold grate has uh, turned to this dark black coloration and we're currently undergoing a major uh, conservation and restoration treatment for the cold grate as well as the mantelpiece itself. These pieces are such a centerpiece of the room. It's, it's essential that we treat them as well as we possibly can and bring out the detail so that they can be seen closer to the way that they would have been seen in George Washington's time.